Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of solving quadratic equations. This is standard A.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 of the 2021 release star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to find a value of x that is a solution. We need to find a 0 to this quadratic equation. And one thing we could probably do, let's take a look at how it's written. Right, it's already written in that standard form, right? That ax squared plus bx plus c. So that's good. And hopefully you notice that we could factor out a 3 in all of these. Right? If we divide both sides by 3, we have to have that, that division property of equality there. Watch this. I'll just take this 3x squared, divide that by 3. I'm just going to break this up here. Minus 30x, divide that by 3. And I like this because you can, when you divide the other side, it's 0 divided by 3. It's possible, right? It's still 0. It's still going to equal 0. So I'm going to end up with something a little bit easier. x squared, right? That's going to end up being minus 10x, and then that's going to be minus 24 equals 0. All right, we could, we could have done it with this, but when in doubt, try to factor something, make it a little bit easier. So there's a few different ways we can do this. Let's start with completing the square. All right, so what do we want when we complete the square? First thing we want to do is we want to take this c term, and let's get that over to the other side. So we end up with this hole in our equation equals 24 okay and so what we're really looking for is we are looking for uh, this b term right here what we want to do is we want to cut this in half okay so our b term is negative 10 and so if we cut that in half we're going to end up with negative 5 okay so that's going to be half of our b term and then what we do is we end up squaring it, right? and that's going to be completing the square right here. The reason we do that, right, is we want something that's going to look like this, x plus a squared. If we can get it to look like that, then we're good to go. And that factored out would be x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. And the reason we wanted this b term right here, right, that negative 10x, is because that's in that 2ax, right? So if 2ax equals that negative 10ax, I want to figure out what a is. I'm just going to divide both sides by 2x, and that's why we end up dividing by 2, right? Because that cancels out a equals negative 5. All right, so if a equals negative 5, now I need to square it. So that's going to end up being x squared minus 10x. Negative 5 squared is going to be a plus 25. But in order for us to actually make this work, we actually have to add 25 to both sides. You can't just add it to one side. Okay, so if we do all that, now this can be turned into this, right? It can just be, since it's, the b is negative 10x, we can say x minus 5 squared equals... And then take a look at this. This is 24 and 29. That's 49. Well, that's obviously a perfect square. So let's take the square root of both sides. We're getting really close now. So we take the square root of that. That's just going to be x minus 5. And then that's going to be plus or minus 7. So if we add 5 to both sides, look what we end up getting. We end up getting x equals, I'll say 5 plus or minus 7. So 5 plus 7 right, would be 12. 5 minus 7 would be negative 2. Those are my two answers. If I wanted to, I could have done the quadratic formula here. So this is what I get. We start simplifying that. It's going to be 10 plus or minus. Right, that's going to be 100. Two negatives make a positive. That's going to be plus 96 over 2. So let's see. That's going to end up being 10 plus or minus square root of 196. That's going to actually end up being 14 over 2. That equals 5 plus or minus 7, which we've already seen. So our answer here is going to be C.